morning, Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. My name is Ben. Hi, I'm Kelly. That is Kelly. This is and Poppy the dog. That's Poppy the dog. <laughs> and we'd like to talk to you about toilet snakes. Gosh, why? <laughs> why is this the subject for our live video today? Why? This we is, nothing else better? Right. This has been happening way too much. I lost all trust in restrooms. <laughs> I lost all re trust yes, in restrooms. I'm beginning to as well. <laughs> this out of Sacramento, CBS Sacramento, California. Oh my God. My husband, before he leaves work, always uses a restroom. I mean, same, right? Most you know, of us do. Most of us. It's very big. When he walked into the restroom and lifted the lid, he saw a snake. Oh, gosh. Not just a snake, though. Not just a snake. Let's properly paint the picture. The We're slithery talking. surprise was a six foot long boa constrictor. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a boa. A six a boa. foot long boa constrictor snake. Show the video. Found there in uh, their home um, in California. Uh, my goodness, it is something else. That's like the worst nightmare. It's something coming out of the toilet. We're thinking it's going to run out and outrun everybody <laughs> and wrap around us and suffocate us. Yeah. I mean, is that not something that would absolutely terrify you? Yes, 100%. Listen, this was kind of like, again, one of my worst fears that was pretty irrational. But now with all of these recent stories of this actually happening, it's a rational fear at this point, I think. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, you can you can see it. Yep, for sure. <laughs> so Irma Zambrano called for help. The rattlesnake rustler to the rescue. He's strong. He gets big and he's he's grabbed onto something, but he's he's trying to pull me in with him. But luckily he <laughs> kind of froze up a little bit and I was able to suck him out of there. Okay, so that is like the, the rattlesnake wrangler. He's been on the job for like 15 years. This is the first time he's ever come across a six foot toilet snake. Which sidebar, he's kind of hot. Okay, you need to stop. I'm you, just saying, you I'm need quick to lobby for like maybe him to get his own show, like Snake Wrangler or something. Toilet Snake Wrangler. <laughs> toilet <laughs> what snake is your wrangler? relationship with toilets now? Okay, what a follow-up question. That is, that's the question we needed from that reporter. Right, the, the follow-up question from the reporter, What's your relationship with toilets now? Okay, let's go ahead and find out what a relationship with toilets are now, Irma. When I use the restroom in the morning, I usually don't even turn on the lights. Now the lights will be on. I will take a glance. I will flush twice and then sit down. Okay, flush twice. That's probably a much better protocol wow. given her experience. Okay, yeah. all right. So, yeah, yeah again, um, I, I think we've had too many of these toilet snake stories. It's rational fear now. It's a rational fear. <laughs> it switched from irrational to now rational. But my favorite. Hey, what is your relationship with toilets now? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, reporter, I used to love them. I it's one of the best reporter questions of all time. I mean, seriously, we we're all kind of thinking it too. So of course. There you go. Uh, I guess this is where we say toilet snakes making the show here. It's yes. become a regular occurrence. I mean, if this happens too much more often, it's going to be just like Florida. Yeah, Heath says it right there. Right? Thank you, Heath. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes, we uh, agree. All right, so there you go. California and toilet nope, snakes nope, nope. Oh, no, <laughs> making nope, the nope, show nope, there nope. on 99.7 DJX. It's that time of year when we invade college campuses.